Welcome back to another video guys. You know the deal, in Brazil. Had a week away from the gym, so we're gonna go and get some work. Today, I'm gonna be working on some south core. Just a few rounds, some light south core work, but I've gotta start dipping my toes in there. That's a skill I need to learn. I'm trying to learn to be a switch fighter, so that's how I'm gonna progress next. Working on my stamina, you know, I'm trying to get fight shape, so let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
focusing on my opposite hand right there. It's like trying to make sure that, because I can keep my hands up, but I notice when I put my hands up, sometimes I, my elbows work like just out here. But the jab, I need to be tight. I want to roll, up, up, roll. Right hand, slip, right hand, roll. Come on, folks, and I'm there. Like, there's a time and place you can have your hands down, but when I return with a count right hand, my left hand needs to be up. Four, four, roll, yeah, then one, two, three, four. Four shades. Yeah, 
what's this uh what's this called stretch your shoulders out so you're flat i reckon it's called the flamingo <laughs> time to start training camp guys we got from doing one hour sessions three times a week to uh one and a half hours every day boxing gym. I was kickboxing, but my foot keeps flaring up. But yeah, like I was saying, got to one and a half hours every day. I'm gonna work up to doing two hours a day. Let me see where I can go. I'm gonna get on the streets. Pretty much, we plan to get on the streets in three weeks to some public boxing, but I need to make sure I'm sharp and I'm conditioned because anything can, oh shit. Anything can happen in boxing, especially on the street. Right, this one in the south pole. This is tough, actually. I'm gonna go back to the same drill I was doing, but with weights. Maybe I'm working on my stamina. I had a fight maybe like three years ago now, and uh, I had a back injury, but I didn't want to pull out the fight because there was a private event. It was an uh, unlicensed fight, and uh, fuck my son. Yeah, I didn't want to pull out the fight. Couldn't train, couldn't do nothing, and then I went to training one week before the fight on one session, and my back was fucked. But I stayed in there, got some rounds in, just stood in the ring and sparred, <laughs> and then went to the fight one week later. First round was, it was just so textbook because I'm obviously just slip, but. Time. <sighs> oh, I've, got, I've got good defense, luckily. That's what I was always focusing on was my defense. And that's what I'm gonna put my most, uh, what you call it? I'll put the most stress on defense. You need to become a good defensive fighter. One, you look slick. Two, you can go a long way for a long time. Um, and you keep out, you keep healthy. Yeah, first round was slick. First round was textbook. You come out, center ring. Put my jab out there, touch it a little bit, boom. Come around here, slip the jab, I remember it. I had it on video, but I deleted it, it's on my old channel. And I get to the corner, and he just came in with like a six punch combination. And I was like, whoa, 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 slipping all the punches. And then I pivoted off, and you know, everyone just went, whoo, shit, it's pads. Anyway, point I'm trying to make is, even though I was a much better fighter, I didn't have the stamina, because I had the training. And the guy had his stamina, and let me tell you, well, probably that's probably the most important thing I've ever learned in boxing is stamina will close any skill gap. If there's one thing you bring to the fight, you bring your stamina. On top of everything else, like nothing, your skills are nothing without stamina. So that's my main focus right now. Get my stamina up, um, keep my hands healthy, focus on speed, picking shots, and, uh, and have my defense sharp for when we hit the streets and when I spar with the boxers. Um, go check out the footage I've done with Braddock, kickboxing. Um, Two videos, check them out. Anyway, let's uh, get these pads in. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Body hit, boom, boom, uppercut, bam. Straight up, bam, double left foot. Boom, roll, boom, body, boom, again. Oh, okay, back up, bam, four, 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 boom. Again. If you haven't seen my previous video on why I'm training while I train, so with uh, the farm sticks, the wobbles, what you're going to call them, and um, hat and pads, no bag work. I would hit the bags, but bags nearly made a break. Um, but it's to protect my hands. I've got a box fracture here. I'm going to get it looked at when I get back to the UK because I tweaked it. But this is going to keep my hands safe and allow me to keep the intensity up. Obviously, I don't know how to train me, so Kieran's got to train me. It's like his third time holding the pads, so I'm teaching him to train me so I can get trained. But it's good. All you need is the basics. All you need is the stuff I'm going through right now, because that's what's going to happen in a fight. You do this, like a 30 punch combination of this, and then you're going to roll here, slip here, move here, boom. It's not going to happen in a fight. For me, anyway, I'm not an inside fighter. I'm going to be there picking jabs. Sit back, roll, move. Catch, roll here. Move. That's probably the most out of our throw, is that four punch combo. And we're picking shots from the outside. But as soon as I fire, he's firing. Boom. You just need to hit, move, maybe a bah, 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 move. A couple of bits of heavy movement, muscle memory. That's why I'm using the wobbles. Also, some free game for any of you that are trying to learn and you've never done it before. Um, you and a friend want to learn at home. 
get them woggles. Get a woggle, cut it in half, one step, whatever you want to do. Things you use for swimming. You can work on your head movement at a fast pace without getting hurt. If you do it with pads, it's easy to slip the wrong way, move the wrong way, boom, you've got a pad to the head, and that's probably worse than catching a, a glove today. If you use the foam sticks, pick the pace up, bam, 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 bam. You can work on your hand speed as well, bop, bop, bop. straight punches, bop, 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 uppercuts, slip, slip, roll, move, catch, catch everything. You don't want to be scared, you're going to keep your eyes open as well. Same thing with sparring, guys, slow it down. Keep too much hard sparring, it's unnecessary if you're not fighting. Maybe it's good here and there, but. You're gonna learn nothing if you're scared to make a mistake while you're sparring. How are you gonna learn from it? You need to make a mistake to learn. You need to be trying new stuff. If you're scared to hit an outside slip because you're gonna catch a big uppercut, you know what you're gonna do. Whereas if you think, oh, let me try this, boom, mate, he's just touch him with a wow. punch, pull his punch, and uh, you know not to do what you're just done. Before. So you learn better time. Anyway, that's uh, <laughs> Make sure you turn in your punches as well. Not arm punches. Not here. Turn. Turn the ball. Turn. 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 Tip the front of your right hand. This is your right hand. Look at myself. The uppercut. Under hook. However you want to throw it, is the same position as the straight right hand. Tip. Unless you're just like, maybe you're not going to sit into it a bit more. But just to learn. So you've got no business learning right off the cuts, right hooks, until you've got a good straight right hand. Just learn it, bro. Learn the right hand, right? Boom. Okay, now let's do the upper. Boom, because you should finish in the same position. That's time, by the way. Oh, we'll go one. Huh? One more. Damn. It's time. It's time for 30 seconds ago, but you look like you're enjoying yourself. All right, what we're doing now, a bit of defense work, some drills. His knees hurt, so he don't want to move about. Um, so we're going to stand on the spot, which is good for me. I haven't done this in a long time. I don't even know I've ever done it on the spot, other than when I'm coaching someone else. Yeah, just some, some work on some partner drills, some working on defense, something you can do at home with a friend. And yeah, he's gonna just try and punch me while I defend. And that's it. But just stay on the same spot. Don't step. Don't step. Don't step. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just keep it realistic. Now you wouldn't go to that, because I would have. Fucking blowing your head off. Oh. Just come back, boom, reset, throw punches. No doubt. <laughs> you only get bad habits doing that, and I'm gonna hit you in the head every time. Take that out of your shadow boxing. That's because you're shadow boxing, man. And you're not resetting. Yeah, yeah. You won't throw it if you reset. Yeah. And you'll reach. Yeah, I'll move 
everyone look. That's good. Comment down below if you found it helpful in this video, you want to see more content, you want to go hit the streets, go hit the streets of Brazil, we're going to take a product with us, or the sports, we're going to buy it. That's content coming soon. No one's ever done it before, I ain't seen no one doing public boxing in the streets of Brazil, let alone English, hitting the streets of Brazil, doing boxing. Um, stay tuned for that content, make sure you smash the like button, comment, blow the videos up. See you next video.